Hi guys, what is up? Loot Games, and today we are showcasing Poison Monkey 742's World on Terraria Xbox 360 Edition. And today he has a huge map. As you can see, there's so many different buildings, and it goes across pretty much the whole of the map. Over here, he has like a frosty castle and a ship with the pirate in, which is really, really cool. At spawn, you get a load of different class setups here in the chest, so... This is a summoner one, goes the melee one, then I think that's range. I guess that's mining. Is that mining as well? I, I don't really know these class setups. There's various different class setups there. And obviously, as always, there is loads of items in the chest. So you can come and check this out. I think Poison Monkey hosts it quite often. I'll leave his link to his channel in the description. And you can go check him out and message him on Xbox Live if you want to join. Remember, I cannot show, uh, host these maps or offer them as a download. Because they're simply not my maps. All I do is come on and showcase them. Over here, he's got a nice farm of different things like the fire blossoms and various other plants. Then he's got farms for the different statues. From the farms for the different statues, the world just goes on and on. It's a huge map. But as you can see, I'm just going to go through some of it today. Down here is a massive fighting arena where you can fight bosses, PvP, things like that. We're going here, he has almost every single armor in the game so if you need to equip a few then they'll have them in the chests here and i think it'd be cool if he made like i don't know seven different variants or eight so you can have one two three four five six seven eight yeah you could have eight and then you can have them through there so if certain people need more armor you can do that and i like the gold background it goes really well with the torches and the frozen slime block or the frozen block whatever you call it and it just goes on with massive rooms here's a load of different blocks so you can see a showcasing of all the different blocks. Really like what he's done with this map because it's so big and there's so many different buildings. Even though it's all compact into one, it's huge. So over here he has a jungly type field house. And it's got a couple of tables, crafting benches, chairs, fireplaces. And it goes on, like I say, to his main house. Which is massive, by the way. You can just see it on the map. It must have took him so long to do this world. It's purple. And I really hope this isn't downloaded. I believe in that it's not because he's spent so long doing his Xbox One world. And he spent ages doing this one. So here's all the different wallpapers you can get. Boss trophies. Got picture. I really like that picture. And this is a nice like sort of oriental fleshy background feel. All the boss masks. I like what he's done with these. I might do some of this on my Xbox One world. It's got a couple of the other things here as well. I guess it gives it that feel. Uh, the... the finalizing feel adam and i or i don't know why he's got the adam and i all that i guess it's just for decoration it looks really awesome over here he's got a load of music boxes i don't know if that's every single one definitely a lot here and again various vanities and armor around the map nice little trap there if any mobs come and you can kill them <laughs> there's a duck it's just like a cheese house what's going on there so it actually just teleport you around if you want to come and look at this map in its full entity then I would advise messaging Poison Monkey and he can show you around this map and show you how big and cool it is. So on this floor, he has a load of crafting benches. Again, loads of tables. And it's just huge. He's got every single different background wall. Don't know what that one is, but that looks awesome. Over here, he has... I don't know what this is. I guess it's like he's recreated biomes and stuff. And if we go up here, he has sun... I love the sunplate block. Sunplate goes really well with gold. Here he's got a little house. It's got so many different houses. It's, it's one of the NPCs don't change the house every day. Over here, it's got snowman, which I really like. I really like this. I, I don't know why. Mushroom house there. Sandstone block. I think they're actuated. So when you stand on them. Ah, and it's an auto farm as well. Sort of like his Xbox One one. So when you do that, that happens. And you can put statues there. And then does it die in the lava? Yeah, it's just lagging for me. I right, best turn that off. Wait. How do we turn it off? Right, it's turned off now. <laughs> it's just a bit laggy. But yeah, th there's that trap. There's a Super Mario star here. He's got inland and outlet pumps for inf infinite water and infinite lava. And here's the teleport. So let's just go through these to make it a bit easier. So the first one takes you over here to the two teleporters. And this is that cheesy type house that I showed you. This goes to a purpley house with, again, a bunch of items, a load of pets there, weapons... Vanities. Oh, there's just so many different things. Equitables. 
boss masks, a bunch of things for you to come and look for and take if you need them. I'm sure Poison Monkey hosts this map quite often as well. So yeah, only message him once though, and if you do want to join again, please do be kind and at least listen to his rules and things. We've got up here, looks like a bionic cat man thing. I don't know what this is, I forgot what he said this was, but it looks epic. And then he's got the world there, might be off some sort of cartoon. And over here he's got Stampy's house, a bigger version though I think. Stampy's house is a bit smaller than this, but yeah, I like how people recreate this by the way, it looks really awesome. Workbenches and stuff. I think this is a nice recreated version of Sampy's house, to be honest. If we head to the right of the map, it's got a ship in the sky. Here's some more of his buildings, like I say. Look, look, this map's just huge. I think it's best if you come and look at this yourself in first person, because you get more of an experience and a feel to the map, rather than just watching the showcase on it. It's awesome if you do have Xbox 360, do message him. This is an Xbox 360 map. It's got the uh, normal biome here with pumpkin patches in. All the NPCs pretty much are housed up here, in these houses. I like the decoration he's done with the pink ice. And over here, he's got a Sky Island temple, but it's a big, massive sky ship. If you want to come and ride on the ship, all you got to do is come here, go in there, and you can go and take home in some of the... I don't know if these chests actually have anything in. Turns out they don't. Maybe it's just decoration. And then, it's like a bloody cloud, I think he said this was. <laughs> it looks cool, though. Over here, he's got a monkey. And this monkey's name is Tyrone, if I remember. Yeah, Tyrone. What's this say? It says Timmy. Ah, Timmy the turtle. Hello. <laughs> I love that. And then he's got uh, loads of water here. Maybe you can take a dip in that. <laughs> take a wash. He's got a nice showcase of armors here again. And vanities, including boss masks. Load more vanities over here. He has this nice house. I really like that. It's nice and bright. He has a nice house here. With a massive teddy bear, which is pink and white. Over here, he has a big place with alien outlet pumps, was this? Not too sure, but I'm pretty sure this is biomes. And then certain enemies come. The jungle mobs have come because you've got so many there. And then loads of enemies are spawning there. Yeah, the Arapakamas. It's an Arapakama farm, so that's awesome. And then if we head to the right of the map, and if you're wondering why I'm not burning, I'm using lava waters. It's got a P. I think he's using that for poison monkey. I suppose. And there's a couple more things this way if we head over to the right of the map. So many different houses. There's the inlet and outlet pumps to make water and lava. Nice house there. And then I think he has a pyramid as well. Yeah, th there's a pyramid. Is this just a tower? The tower that takes you back to the main place. If I remember rightly, if you go from here, you get to the underground. Where there's actually a web arm. The Black Recluse is going to destroy me. I've not got a lot of life on this character for some reason. I don't know why. I think it just glitched. Because I remember having full hearts on this character. Too sure why. <laughs> What's the skull doing? Here he's got a crystal farm. Like I say, the inland output pumps go there. The water comes down. And then you get loads of cobwebs. Right, so that actually didn't work. I don't know if you've got to press anything else. And the water drains out there. So that's for the water when it comes down. Because the water actually is infinite. I think I've shown you down here. But yeah, there's the armors. I've definitely shown you that part. Now I can't even remember what part I've shown you because this is so big. But yeah, if you want to first hand see what this is like, like I say, go ahead and message Poison Monkey. And I'm sure he'll. It's Poison Monkey 742. Showcase his Xbox One map. Now I'm showcasing his Xbox 360 map, which is absolutely huge. So he's got loads of banners, loads of pictures, boss trophies again, which he has on another part of the map. Huge uh, PvP type arena type thing. Pink dungeon and normal dungeon blocks. Got a mushroom farm here. And I don't think there's much more down here. Except for wallpapered backgrounds. Nice design of a house. Nice and frosty down here. Why is there any frosty in that area? That is weird. But yeah, it is huge, like I say. If you want to come check this out. As I say, I can't host it. But Poison Monkey 742 can. So go ahead and message him. It's like a mouse there or something. So now if we just head to the left of the map. We'll show you that part, and then I'll get him to say something about his map. Awesome to check this out firsthand. It really is a map that you need to check out if you haven't already. And I don't think there's any download for this. Crafting benches and stuff. That's that's cool. What's that? It's like a happy house thing. I'm using red wings for mobility purposes. So we got to Stampy's treehouse. We actually showed you that. Lost really easily because you don't know which part you've explored because it's so big. Various different houses. A wood house. Got a hoodie house, a mushroom tree house where the actual mushroom guy is staying, which is a truffle, a rainbow house, a spooky castle. There's just so many things. I don't think there's much more down here though. 
But yeah, like I say, if you really do want to see this map, just go ahead and message Poison Monkey 742 Pretty sure we're hosted for you. Remember, this is an Xbox 360 map, so you will need an Xbox 360 to join this. If you don't have an Xbox 360, you can join his Xbox One map, but his Xbox One map isn't as big. And here's the map, the part of the map where I showed you at the start, with the White Castle. And I think he has a pirate ship to the left as well, if we go check that out. But he's made, got a self-made biome from a glitch, because he literally never had this biome here. He actually made that himself. So we just chilling here now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let Poison Monkey say something about his map. It's absolutely huge. He's got various different farms. When you're ready, just go ahead. I host. I'm with me on Saturday. Yeah. Oh yeah, hi, mom. So that has been Poison Monkey 742. He only hosts on Saturdays. So if you want to join, message him on a Saturday. I'm sure he'll help you out. And yeah, big shout out to his mom and him. And really like your map, bro. Good job on everything you've done. But anyway, guys, check his channel out in the description. And remember to stay frosty. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.